Hello everyone today. I'm going to show you how to make a macro for the new endless event using FMTD looter. Before we begin, make sure to watch the video in the description first. It is important as it explains the basics, setup, key binds, and some secrets we won't cover here. Watching it first will make this tutorial much easier to follow and ensure the macro is set up properly otherwise, it won't work for you. Alright, let's get started. First, make sure your windows are set up correctly. Drag your main game window to the top left corner. If you're using multiple accounts, drag the second account to the top right corner, the third account to the bottom left corner, and the fourth account to the bottom right corner. Make sure Windows automatically resizes them for you. Now, let's open up FNTD Looter. Enter your key, and if you don't have one, you can find it on Discord in the info channel. Once you've entered the key, press connect. Resize the program like this until you see new endless beta, then click on it. You might notice this weird and confusing UI, but don't worry it's easier than it looks. Each of these SPs represents a map in the new endless mode, right now. They're empty because we haven't set up any units for them yet. And to speed things up, instead of setting up a starter units for each map manually, we're going to download a template from our Discord. You can find it under the hashtag share channel. As shown in the video, if you can't find it for some reason, Head over to hashtag info.single quotes it should point you to the endless channel area. And you'll see it right there. Scroll up until you see steampunk endless starter only template, then go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, go to your macros folder, open up the custom folder, and drag that bad boy in there. After that, restart the program, open up the new endless editor. And you should see it in the toolbar, select it, then press load. Then, you should see the template location for all the starters for each map. Feel free to remove or edit any of these if you don't like the locations. By selecting it, and heading over to the Remove or Update button, you can make changes to the locations or settings. Alright, now let's get to the good part. You should be familiar with these buttons on the side and what they do from the other video, since I'm using to Roblox accounts instead of one. I'm going to press grab with windows so I can rotate between the two games. As shown in the video, this will ensure that I have the game set up properly. For upgrades, specifically for this macro, I'm going to set the upgrade to no first so I can place units down without upgrading them right after they're placed. Alright, before we start placing the units, let's replicate all the game rituals in game. Make sure zoom and look down are checked at all times, or the macro will not work properly. Alright, let's start placing the units. Pick any modifier of your choosing, then press V to let the macro find which map you're in. It will auto-select the SPs for you automatically, like this. And start placing all the units in the list box. Do not move your mouse until all units are placed. Once all the starters have been placed, we can start adding more units for the macro to remember. I'm going to check the automatic input option, instead of manually pressing add. For the first unit I'm going to add, I'm going to place a Scott from my second account right here. I'll press C to add it to the list box and make sure everything is set up correctly. Now, I want to add this support over here. I'll press C to add it to the list box, then double check to make sure it's added correctly and not duplicated. I'm going to place more support units like Music Man and Spring Bonnie, and make sure they're added to the list box with the correct settings. If you make any mistakes, just remove it or update it. Alright, now I want to rotate back to the other Roblox window and find a spot to place an old man, like right here, but before I place it. I want to check if all the settings are correct and have upgrade set to yes in the macro. Then, adding it onto the list box by pressing C and also making sure to place it in-game fully maxing it out as if the macro is running. Now we want to start upgrading the support units we added in earlier. So, the first support I'm going to upgrade is this Fredbear. Make sure to press the corresponding slot key on the keyboard, like to for this one. And ensure that the upgrade is set to yes in the program. And finally pressing C to add it onto the list box. Now. Do the same thing for this music man, press 3 on my keyboard to place it in slot 3, ensuring all the correct settings are applied before adding it to the list box. Then repeating the same steps for this spring bonnie. And BMA that's it, 
Now let's double check if I have everything set properly. To add in more damage, we're going to upgrade this Scott as well replicating the same step as before. Pressing the corresponding key and pressing C to add it in. Oops, we made a mistake and accidentally added it to the wrong SP. So, we're going to remove it and go back to the correct SP by pressing the button on top of it. And we're doing the same step as before. And double checking if we added it the list box properly. As shown here, it says upgrade is set to true, window 2, the location, and the key. Now that we're done with this map, we're going to press save as a backup before starting up the next map. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did at the start. Select a random modifier and press V again to find the map details. Wait for it to set up, auto-select the SPs, and wait for all the units in the list box to be placed. It looks like the macro forgot to place the other unit. To fix this, you can either press V again to place the missing unit, or just ignore it, or just completely remove the unit from the list, and place another one somewhere else, shown on the video. Now I want to go to the second account and place a Scott down right here, pressing C again to auto-add it to the list. Whoops, I accidentally added it to the list box with upgrades on by accident, so to fix this, I'm going to duplicate it. Set the upgrade to no, press update, and remove the original input, leaving us with the new updated input. Again, duplicate it, select the correct setting, press update, and remove the original. Alright, now back to Roblox account 1, and let's set that old man up right over here. Whoops, maybe not. Let's try it here instead. Daddy, do you not want to upgrade it? No, shut up. We're placing supports right after it with the other account and am placing it right here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, shut up. Sorry about that. Anyway, Spring Bonnie right here. Pressing C to add it in the list box. And again, like before, followed by the other support units. Adding in Music Man and Fredbear ensuring that I am pressing the corresponding Keeper unit slot. Then the Wrinkle Old Man replayed previously with the Samantha Dis Pressing yes under the upgrade tab, hovering over the uni, and press the C key to add it automatically to the list box. Then, repeat the same step with the other support uni we placed before, always make sure that when you want to upgrade the uni, you're hovering over it and pressing to see if it's clickable before adding it to the list box. Another reminder, make sure you're placing it in the correct SPs, as you might accidentally press the wrong span at it there by mistake. And once you're done, Press save every time so you don't lose your progress. By now, you should understand how this works. If you're still lost, make sure to use the help channel on Discord to keep this video short. We're going to skip forward and show you what it should look like once everything is set up by loading up an already finished macro. So once you have all the uni placement for all the maps, make sure you press save and restart your program before running it. That will be all. Thanks for watching D.